questions for Coach Cronin. Coach? Um, I thought, you know, uh, our special teams were a big factor in the game. We had a power play goal at a critical moment, and I thought our penalty killing was good uh, in the first period. Offensively, I thought we were really sloppy. We had moments where we looked really, really good. And, um, you know, but I thought defensively we were good. I mean, Harvard, looking at their record, they, they're a better team than their record reflects. And they're in a lot of, you know, one nothing, 2 one games. And I thought it would be a low-scoring game. And they throw a lot of pucks to the net. So we knew that from when we played them back in uh, the middle of um, January. And I thought that uh, our defense did a good job clearing out the front because uh, there was some rebounds there. And I thought uh, the guy sitting next to me was terrific. And that's why we won for zero. All right, uh, gentlemen, if you'd sit close to the microphone so we can all hear you. Uh, just kind of raise your hand, wait for the microphone to be asked to identify your name and affiliation and questions uh, mention which player you want to talk to. No. Uh, Rich Thompson, Boston Herald, for you, Chris. Just comment on the uh, goal support you got in the second period and what that did for your confidence going forward. Um, you know, um, first period we scored a goal, second, you know, second period we scored three, which was nice. You know, it, makes, uh, it gives me a little more you know, relief. Um, knowing that we got four goals instead of one, um, like you said, it makes my my job a lot easier. Um, so yeah, it uh, was definitely a relief. Uh, Steve Buckley, Boston Arrow. If I could ask both of you and both of you guys, if you're not from Boston, you probably didn't grow up with a bean pot. But when you arrived on campus, uh, you know the Northeastern doesn't have a great record of bean pot. Um, how do you feel about having advanced that now to take it to the next level that you guys got Northeast into the finals? Well, it's just nice to contribute. Um, I knew I didn't know a lot about the Beanpot when I came here, but um, yeah, it's just nice to contribute and get one step closer to getting another title. Yeah, like like he said, uh, being from you know far away from home from Vancouver, uh, you don't really know a lot about uh, the Beanpot, but once you get here. You know, you find out that's you know it's one of the biggest tournaments, um, college hockey, especially in Boston, right? Um, but like he said, it's just nice to contribute. You know, today. Elliot, Elliot Olszewski, NCA.com for uh, both Mike and Chris. Uh, when this uh, game, the Harvard Northeastern game, is played in the in the first round, the last couple of times, the team that. Uh, was having the better season uh, had been the team that uh, lost. Was that a, particularly uh, 08? Was that something the seniors talked to you guys about during this week? And how much the, uh, was uh, did memories for the seniors of 08 uh, affect what they said to you guys as, as you prepared for this game? Well, I know when I uh, when I came on my visit here, the uh, Northeastern lost to Harvard, and uh, yeah, it's kind of stuck in my mind because you know. McNeely and all the seniors, they stress that point. But, you know, I, I don't think it matters who you play. You just want to play your game and make it to the second game. Yeah, like, you know, like he said, um, guys like Tyler and Wade and all the rest of the seniors, you know, obviously it's um, in their minds. And, like, you know, like he said, um, they weren't really, you know, it's that was in the past, you know. It's, it's di completely different now. It's, you know, we weren't too worried about, you know, two years ago in the bean pot loop. You know, it's today, um, it's a new year. Um, just, you know, going out and playing, you know. Uh, Mike, back here. Trish, ready? Can't miss him. Can't miss me. Today. <laughs> Burnt orange here. Uh, Mike, uh, you talked about the contributions you made tonight. Uh, can you can you specifically describe your goals in, in particular the second one? Yeah, the second one. Uh, I just kind of saw lane to the net, and uh, I've been telling myself a lot lately to shoot the puck more, um, particularly this year because last year I didn't have a lot of luck. I seemed to you know hit a lot of posts, miss a lot of open nets, and uh, so this year I've just been telling myself to shoot the puck, and I saw lane. It just bounced off the goalie, went straight in the air, and. I think it bounced, bounced off his back and uh, just trickled in, so. Is it one of those where you felt the pin up doing now? That was an overview for all those, those Oh yeah, it's it's been a relief this year, especially scoring early in the season. It's kind of 
takes a weight off my shoulders, gives me a little confidence. And yeah, just scoring two goals tonight is just going to hopefully help me out down the stretch. Any last questions for the players before we let them go? Brian, did you have another question? Uh, no, I think I could. Well, actually, Mike, uh, Mike uh, Brian O'Connor, kind of ESPN Boston. So you didn't call that second goal? <laughs> no. I, uh, I actually thought Brolick knocked in the net before it trickled in, but um, I guess I, I just got lucky, got a bounce, and it feels good. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, Mike Metralia, WEEI.com. Chris, how much was the shutout on your mind in the closing moments? Um, you know, to me, you know, shutout's great and all, but I was worried about um, obviously winning the game for the team. Uh, I'm not obviously too worried about getting shutouts and all that. But uh, obviously, you know, it's nice to get, um, and I'll take it when I can get them. Um, but like I said, it's, you know, it's a team game. Uh, I was just worried about winning the game. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, good luck next week, championship game. Uh,